Well, it's been quite some time since I posted a video on YouTube, so this might end up being quite sloppy in comparison. Uh, I hope to be able to get it up there and let you take a look at what we're going to be doing here. What I've got here is a 100 microfarad uh, photo flash capacitor rated at 200 volts. This little block is just to connect the capacitor to this bridge rectifier which is composed of sorry I'll back out here a little which is composed of four 1N4148 common bridge configuration this block here is where the diodes all go in and up here we have the connections to this little square unit in the center of these magnets now I found that since I do this one handed holding the camera, it's going to be easier for me to go ahead and start out with it assembled and show it to you as I disassemble it so that you know there's nothing hidden here. So we'll start out and what you see, I'm going to remove the short from the bridge rectifier. This device is called a quantum energy receiver. Now please understand, I mean receiver. This is not a free energy generation device it's an energy receiver. Okay, now watch the... I'm going to disconnect this shorting lead to the capacitor, so watch the meter while I do this. Remember this is a 100 microfarad photo flash capacitor. And you can see that uh, we're charging up quite nicely. We're up to 600 millivolts at this point. We'll go ahead and let it run here for a little bit. Uh, then I'll take and short it out and uh, start all over again to show you that this little unit here is not a battery. What it's composed of is if you look up some of the work of Dr. Wilhelm Reich, you will find that uh, I have a unit very similar to what he was using in his boxes where he thought he was picking up orgon energy. Actually, what we have here, this receiver is receiving and performing quantum translational waves, converting them into usable energy via this bridge rectifier. Now, <clears throat> I want to make this significantly understood. This is AC coming out of here. This is not DC. It's AC coming out of here. It's going into the bridge rectifier. It's being rectified positive negative, and the appropriate polarity is charging this capacitor. That's what we're measuring here, and we're currently up to almost 3 volts. Uh, if you hook this little square unit directly up to the capacitor, you'll receive no charge whatsoever because you have to perform the rectification first. So we have an AC coming out of this unit. Let's get it up maybe to about, uh, oh I don't know. We'll make sure that we get it up high enough that, uh, that it shows that there has to be quite a significant number of batteries in here to do this. We'll charge the thing up to maybe 5, 6 volts, somewhere in that area. And then you'll see when I remove this shrink wrap, it's just pushed over there to remove the glare, like I said, from the light. And we'll pull off this steel washer on the end. Well, it's kind of boring, isn't it? Just sitting here watching a capacitor charge. But it shouldn't be. It really shouldn't be boring at all. A uh, hundred microfarad. You can put a ten mic on there and it charges, oh yes, about ten times faster. If you put a 470 mic on there, of course it's going to charge slower. And these units can be uh, increased in their current. Uh, I probably will go into detail on that sometime later. But right now, this is a very nice little simple demonstration unit to, uh, to show the effect and what's going on. 
remember this is AC coming out of here this is not DC the bridge rectifier and the capacitor okay well let's get a I'll let it go to 6 volts and I'm going to short it out and we'll uh, start over again show a little bit of it and then I'm going to disassemble it uh, in another video we'll take and let the thing uh, uh, charge up and see just how how much voltage it will put on this uh, little 100 microfarad 200 volt capacitor okay we're just about to six let's let it go ahead and get there you see it seems to be charging according to a normal capacitor charge curve uh, we've slowed up significantly now as we get up closer to what will be the maximum Yes, there is a maximum. It does not keep going and going forever. Uh, that has to do with the physical dimensions of the device and the magnets. Okay, there we go at 6. So let me go down here and short this guy out. Get my fat fingers in there. Short the little character out. And he's, he's shorted and now we're going to obviously have a little bounce that comes back from recovery in the capacitor but uh, it won't be enough to worry about to skew our, our realization of what's going on here so you can see it again we we're going up quite readily okay you can tell from the charge rate that we're we're going up and we're not going to let it go to six again because I don't like uploading long videos I have a very slow internet connection I only use it for research and I'm not going to spend days showing these things or uploading them to YouTube so what I'm going to do uh, we're going to get some light on here because I'm going to disassemble this kind of while it's working but you're also going to notice that when I touch this thing it's going to make a difference in the voltage uh, it's not going to increase it, it's going to decrease it. It's probably sometimes quite a bit, but not all that much. Okay. Now, if you want to take a look here, those are magnets. Those are not batteries. And anyway, if they were batteries, we're going to have to, if these were these little button cell batteries that people use, uh, you'd have to have a return from here back to the side. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to get this washer off of here without there I got it thank goodness okay now I'm going to take this let me use the other hand and take this off of here also and get that there okay now we got that one off now you can see that we have again just a number of magnets and here is a copper plate there's an aluminum plate and there's two plates inside okay and that's not a battery uh, so anyway I, I uh, we're still charging obviously but uh, we're going to reduce the amount of charge because this is not on there so that's basically what the little critter is a QER a quantum energy receiver yeah, and I'll try to get in more detail here later. But uh, just batteries. I uh, can show you that by stuffing a bunch of stuff on here. Here, there, wow. It bit that guy. And we can take a test lead here and bam. So there's, there's our batteries. Uh, just to try and prove that fact. And you can see that we're, we're sustaining our charge here. So anyway... Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Remember, it's a QER. If you want some information on this center, look up Dr. Wilhelm Reich's work. Uh, also, you can look at some of my prior work with uh, SEC or, 